tears and tragedy in Bauchi as eighteen died in both accidents. No fewer than eighteen people were killed when a kennel carrying twenty-three farmers capsized in Bauchi State. Although five people were rescued alive, the driver and one passenger were unconscious. The public relations officer, Bauchi State Command, Ahmed Wakil, made this known in a statement made available to journalists on Friday in Bauchi. According to him, the deceased included eight people, eight and teenagers, and two adults. He said the incident occurred on River Bunji in Ita's Gadau local government area of Bauchi State. Thank you for listening to this news. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. This is what we have been lamenting of. This is what we have been lamenting of, that the federal government should intervene in the case of this, uh, uh, in the case of this, our, our, our transportation issue and railway. You see, traveling or, or moving by sea, to me, I'm not comfortable. I'm not comfortable with it. I'm not comfortable. Yes, I know it is God that is saving someone. It is God of the truth. Even if we must travel by sea, the boat that's supposed to be running on the sea, supposed to be a, 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 a kind of boat that must be properly checked and approved before allowing to walk on the sea. See, I was opportune to be at, um, at the terminal, at the Kikorodu terminal. You need to see the kind of boat that that was allowed to function on the sea. Most of the boats are nothing to write home about. That is to tell you that these boats were not checked before allowing them to walk on the sea. The owners of these boats are risking the lives of the citizens. They are risking the lives of the people. They are, people, they are putting the lives of the people at risk. And it doesn't all go well. It doesn't go down well. Look at the number of people that have just lost their life on this boat. I don't know. I don't know the, the fitness of this boat. But one thing I believe for sure is it is either the boat is not in good condition or the, the person driving the boat was driving recklessly. The person driving the boat was driving recklessly. So these are the two things that may have occurred. And that is why I am of this opinion that the federal government, if must permit the um, must, must permit boats functioning on the sea or traveling by traveling by sea, then they must put eye on the kind of boat that must that must work on the sea. The fitness and the kind of people that must work with those boats. I want to believe that, that they have an association. And this association, I don't know how strong the association is. I don't know how strong is the association. Do you understand? Because if the association is very strong, then the, 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 the kind of boat that will be working or functioning on the sea will supposed to be properly checked and observed. The life of the people must not be put at risk at all times. Because these people, they are human beings. They are human beings. Not everyone can swim. The driver was able to be alive because he can, he can, he can, he can swim, in, swim his, his way out. What about the other passengers? And the, those that, the, the, the remaining five people that they, they claim they, uh, 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 were, 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 were able to, 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 to be saved, 
maybe those ones were able to swim as well but the remaining 18 people that died are not able to swim if one is talking routine with 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 be saying that all is well all is well as in what you are a minister of of transportation you cannot be able to checkmate properly the, the area that will be comfortable and fit for proper movement of, of the people Need for one know this traveling by uh, through sea i'm not too comfortable with it i'm not too comfortable with it you understand the railway is very okay the buses are very okay the money to work on those sea in order to put train is there why what is now preventing our government from doing all of those things what is the, the needful that need to be paid attention to they won't pay attention to it they'll be paying attention to what is not necessary you see that and that is where we're having problem with the federal government with the federal government so my viewers i am i i personally am totally against this traveling by sea it is not encouraging it's not encouraging look at look at the one that has just happened in Bauchi. what are we to say about this who are we to report this to you understand and it's not everyone that is alleged allergic to traveling by sea I know what I saw the day I ventured into it I know I know it's a shortcut but it's not something something one should 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 double into should think of going into because it doesn't all go well it doesn't encourage it's not it's not encouraging and it can never be encouraging you understand so let us um, speak up let us say something about it let us uh, 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 criticize it let the federal government know that we are not happy about it and start doing something concerning it you understand so my viewers please what is your own take concerning this issue what do you think What's your observation? Please, deem it fit to leave your comments below the comment box. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.